Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 10th, 2021. Well, yesterday we had some more selling, and the Dow experienced just a little technical damage um, in the chart, but remarkably, the SPY and the QQQ just kind of shrugged everything off. It, 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 thanks to the power of about seven to nine big tech giants, SPY and QQQ remain in very, very bullish trends. So how about we settle in, buckle up, let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I hope you had a fantastic evening and you're ready to wrap up this shortened week with a producer price number and the bulls pushing back this morning in an overnight reversal. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain any information about how we might want to approach the market for today. So first off, as you can see, looking at the chart, we did, and I mentioned this yesterday, we did break this upside trend in the chart. We do have a little bit of a hint of a head and shoulders pattern here on the diamonds, but we really aren't showing um, any panic um, in the market at all. So um, I don't think this technical damage is all that bad just yet um, in this chart. Now, clearly we did break down through some support levels in the chart and we have created some resistance levels above that we will now have to deal with as uh, the bulls try or if the bulls try to rally back up and you can see this morning we are pushing for a big gap up open um, at at this point right now dow futures are up 183 points ahead of that um, inflation number uh, that will come out before the bell. Take a look right here. We have a little bit of a downtrend in play as well. So we could run into some interesting price resistance right here in this level. Notice how all of these levels kind of join together. So watch that carefully as we approach those levels in this pushback up. That's right exactly where we could see the bears fight back. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. SPY, as you can see, has really suffered no damage whatsoever. As a matter of fact, if it weren't for those big techs, we have so many stocks that are below their 200 day moving average. Seeing the SPY just barely flinching um, in this pullback is kind of a, a remarkable thing to see. Boy, if, if big tech ever starts to sell off, we could be in real trouble. But for now, big, big tech is doing all of the lifting. And as you can see, holding on nicely here to some price support, holding on to trend. Now you could say these big volatility spikes down here were a little bit of a outliers, but still even that trend right there, we have barely seen any damage at all, if any at all, in the SPY. This is a bullish chart all day long and the bulls are trying to push back here this morning. So let's watch that closely. If we can hold this support level in here, there's no reason to believe in this chart that we just can't power right on through to new record highs in the market. Also kind of keep in mind, um, drawing that trend up here, we still have that possibility that we could just back and fill in this consolidation uh, before we move on up. So let's take a look at the QQQ. QQQ, <laughs> looking at this, you would just think nothing has been happening at all. Um, looking at the QQQ, I do have a big concern here in the NASDAQ, and that is just because our valuations of these big tech giants are extremely high. And at some point in time, I do expect them to break down. But as of now, no major, no major problem. Now, one unfortunate thing that we have going on here in the NASDAQ is we really don't have 
a clear and defined trend to react to like we do in the SPY right now. Notice we had this very, very steep uptrend and we've kind of slid past that. Um, we would, if we try to connect some of these lows up down here, we don't get a whole lot of touches to that trend line, but you could see that possibility as long as we hold above this support that we certainly could just kind of consolidate this all the way over to trend and notice we definitely have that potential that we can consolidate for that period of time so that may be the case here as well but this morning we're showing bulls trying to push back up and what that also suggests is we are within striking distance of new record highs there'd be no reason to believe that we couldn't just power on through um, with um, big tech pushing and try to hit some of those new record highs today. You never know. Then let's take a look at IWM. IWM was slipping a little bit, running into a little bit of concern, but then those oil sector numbers came in yesterday that uh, um, came in with a decline in supplies in oil and that really seemed to stop the selling yesterday so we held on to this price support here in the chart and now we're looking to push on higher here this morning with oil leading the way oil this morning is up and natural gas is up as a matter of fact, there's a story out that natural gas could hit a 13-year high here um, soon, um, causing some pressure for anyone who uses that for heating this winter. Watch this right here, very, very strong, uh, pushing up, holding above its 50-day moving average. Now, having said that, I want to point out that we still have some significant resistance issues here in IWM. We still have a downtrend in play here. Although we're holding on to this price support, that downtrend could be substantial. Um, um, in providing some resistance and then we just have tremendous amounts of resistance highs here for this to have to break out so I'm not sure um, IWM is ready to just plow through to new records but keep a close eye on it let's take a look at the VIX now the VIX finished the day up elevated we tried pushing down didn't quite hold through the end of the day if you guys remember we had we were pushing up nicely yesterday and then all of a sudden just a big fast whipsaw pushing us right back down so this morning we've got a a vic showing a little bit of elevation a little bit of uncertainty but so far it's really not showing any panic no fear no major panic no fear here so as you can see a little bit elevated that means all of our option prices are a little bit higher priced but no major damage here as well we are holding above our 50-day moving average and obviously this little higher low does raise a concern but with the bulls pushing back this morning um, i would expect that vix to drop back into this area here um, at a minimum and we'll have to see how we react to that producer price number here um, how that might close the day out so so far no major problems here in the VIX little concern a little bit of uncertainty but no reason to be running for the doors or suggesting panic let's take a look at our T2122 that four week new high new low ratio as you can see we we had started up yesterday as a matter of fact our our uh, T2122 had pushed all the way back up into here and then we got that whipsaw yesterday in the market shoving us right back down so you can see yesterday we kind of finished with you know um, about where we started not much happened here um, yesterday on T2122 what what that means is however if those bulls can stay engaged here this morning if that PPI number doesn't shock anything or cause any problems then we certainly have opened upside opportunity here um, in the market and I think even enough upside opportunity that we could see the QQQ and SPY hit new record highs um, so there is that upside opportunity right now the bears just don't seem to have enough energy to do much of anything it's like they, they don't even really exist except for little short bursts of energy um, however if the bears were to find some inspiration here today just keep in mind we also have 
a opportunity that we could still drop um, into that oversold condition here in T2122. So watch that. Now, T2107, which is the percentage of stocks below their 200 day moving average, or excuse me, above their 200 day moving average. This is still a concern for me. Um, when we consider 46% of the stocks, only 46% of the stocks are above their 200 day moving average. And we continue this um, uh, falling trend. We tried to poke through a couple of times. We failed at price resistance here. And so we still have an awful lot of stocks below their 200 day moving average, which is obviously a concern. So keep a close eye on that, everyone. That is a problem for us still. But right now with big techs, with about seven to nine big tech companies providing all of the lift, they have been able to hold the SPY and the QQQ up even with this kind of a bearish um, thing going on in the market at the same time. So watch that closely. I'm not sure who wins that battle, but for now, Big Tech is definitely winning that battle. Let's take a look at our T2101. Here's another sign of bullishness, I think, for the market. And that is that T2101 did not see any increase in market breadth as we sold off. So normally we would see a spike in market breadth on a on a an energetic sell-off. No energe energy here on the sell-off. Um, it seemed to be rather slow and controlled. There was no energy. And again, the only technical damage I can find in the charts is that in the Dow. So no major energy here. So I've got to give this up to the bulls and, and suggest that we didn't see we didn't see that breadth increasing on the sell wave. So um, every reason to believe that we can move back higher here in the market. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar does have a few things that we're gonna want to pay attention to. And first thing right off here this morning before the bell, we're going to want to pay attention to this producer price number. Now, consumer or consensus, economist consensus is suggesting that that will decline from a 1.0 to a 0.6 today. So we'll have to watch that closely. Remember, PPI is a measure of inflation. If producer prices come in higher than expected, that could dampen the mood of the market pretty quickly if it comes in hot. So watch that closely. If it comes in less than expected, that could certainly bring the bulls on even stronger. So watch that carefully. And then we have a Fed speaker here today. Unlikely we're going to learn anything new, but we always want to pay attention when we've got those Fed speakers out there. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar, and our earnings calendar is extremely light today. We have nine companies expected to report, and honestly, guys, there's really only one notable report for the day, and that would be Kroger. Kroger will be reporting, it looks like it may have reported um, here this morning, a um, little pop and drop on the day, holding in there fine. So keep a close eye on that. That is really the only notable to uh, pay attention to at all today. We do have um, TIGR reporting. Looks like it's moving up a little bit today. We have um, SY reporting. Looks like it's moving up a little bit today. And um, we have um, BYSI reporting. And so really not much here that is expected to move the market around today on that earnings calendar. So with that, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. And let's please keep in mind that um, any stocks that I mentioned are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if you could 
um, click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And also guys, if you find these videos to be useful and helpful, um, clicking that thumbs up button helps support the channel and leaving a brief comment. It can even be just an emoji helps um, to show the engagement in the video and the more engagement we get the better the algorithm shows these videos to more folks and i just want to say thanks to everyone who does take the time i know it's a pain i get it but thank you so much for doing it and thank you so much for all the kind comments honestly guys you humble me every day and then also continuing to give a big shout out to those folks supporting the channel through the buy me a coffee link it's just right below the title of the video here guys if you're interested in supporting the this type of content um, that link is right there and thank you to all of you folks who um, have and continue to do that I truly appreciate it let's take a look at some of these stocks that might set up and let's keep in mind that um, again these are not a recommendation um, to buy or sell any security and you should um, be doing your own due diligence on these trades by the way guys I was holding Kroger um, yesterday I ended up closing Kroger I was hoping for a move into earnings didn't happen I ended up closing that trade flat yesterday and I also closed my trade in Altria now Altria is still in that zone where this could set up but i closed it because i was up nearly 40 percent on the position and i'll be watching this closely for the next entry i think this could set up for another entry um, into this trade take a look right here here's our current trend this may need just a little bit more rest or consolidation out here before it goes however the bullishness of the market suggests it could go sooner than that um, so watch that carefully right here as we try to hold on to this price support. We do have resistance above to be concerned about and watching, but Altria defensive sector stock is showing lots of bullishness here. Good divvy pair might be something to keep a close eye on. You might also want to take a look at some of those other defensive stocks that very whippy here recently, big price moves, but take a look how we've been kind of dancing around here in um, this area on Coke. Now Coke could set up either long or short. It's that defensive sector stock. We have this downtrend going on in this trade. And let's take a look. We're holding on right there around that 50 day moving average. So if we were to fail here at that 50 day, um, that's one of my favorite shorting patterns. We call it the blue ice failure. Um, and, and that is certainly possible here. However, with this really odd back and forth going on in this chart, I wouldn't rule out the possibility because of the volatility here that we pop back above and hold. That's when I would be looking for a long trade in Coke. So keep a close eye on that if it can get back above that 50 day and maybe hold on. Um, once again, I wanna mention Kroger. Now Kroger, I got out of the way of the earnings event um, on Kroger because I, I don't trade those earnings events unless I already have a substantial profit in the trade. And looking at Kroger here, as you can see, if this continues to just rest in here, if this doesn't really break down or really power up, I would watch for that next opportunity to get long again here on Kroger. Keep a close eye on that, it's looking pretty darn good. I think we should start taking a look at energy with energy pushing this downtrend here. We're seeing oil up this morning. Keep an eye on energy. We're pushing that downtrend, see if we can break through. If we can pop through that downtrend, let's watch for some of those potential opportunities to pick up here in the chart. Notice we have this higher low supporting that. So if we could maybe push up through there, there is that possibility energy starts coming back around to the upside. Let's take a look at the financials as well. XLF has shown um, some ability to hold a little higher low here yesterday. Now I don't like this double top. I, honestly, I don't like it at all. And that does bother me. And when we look at some of these resistance levels in the chart, I still have some concerns. 
but it is kind of remarkable the resiliency that we're seeing in some of these stocks even considering like wfc um wells fargo getting fined another 250 million dollar for unsafe practices um look at wfc this morning spiking um trying to go higher um uh, uh, how many times can these banks um show all the corruption and things that are going on these big investment banks all the corruption going on in them and we just continue to rush in and buy them um, it's kind of a remarkable thing um, they get fined over and over again nobody ever goes to jail but boy we sure just love to buy them up after the fact um, so kind of an interesting thing so keep an eye on some of these stocks one of them i would like to point out is morgan stanley morgan stanley holding in a nice little uh consolidating range here um near the highs so it really wouldn't take much for this to engage the trend right in here and push right on through to new records here on morgan stanley keep a close eye on that uh, jp morgan jp morgan is also staging a possible upside move here there's our upside trend. Notice that we're holding in here on some price support in that chart. So watch this, um, every reason to believe that could power on higher um, in this chart. Um, take a look at Oracle. Oracle has been in a long-term consolidation here. And I thought this would go a little bit sooner, but keep a close eye on this. Oracle, that consolidation continues to tighten up in here watch for any kind of a bullish opportunity that that might push on through to the upside keep a close eye on that um i've been watching um watching some of the stocks um in that defensive sector area um some of them like philip morris have sold off here recently after a big rally up, but I would keep an eye on something in this area. Notice that we have this trend right in here. We're coming back to some price support. So let's see if this stock can kind of rest right in here. It may show us that opportunity for the upside. And I gotta continue to point these things out, guys. We're seeing some interesting price moves in gold and silver um, we get these big wild sweeps um, in these uh, charts but take a look here on gold i'm going to go to some moving averages we did push up into that up over the 200 day and then we got a quick push back down but let's take a look right here and notice that we're holding in here around that 50 day if this can gain a little bit of energy here for that upside move, it is possible that we could see gold push up through it as fear kind of increases here on the market of a potential um, sell-off. So watch that carefully. Gold, silver, um, something to pay attention to. Um, you might want to also keep an eye on copper. Um, FCX is trying to hold a little higher low here. Um, trying to recover a little bit from some of this selling. Um, watch that right there. Now this is going to be a major factor um, of the dollar. Um, UUP, UUP pulling back um, like this can um, actually push those um, metals higher. So watch that closely if we start to weaken here in the US dollar. We had a big surge here just recently, but today we're looking at a little bit of a pop and drop and we're seeing some bond action as well in here. So watch that closely. Um, I can't rule out the possibility of some of those precious metals coming around with the uncertainty that we're seeing um, in the market right now. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. And just be a little bit careful going into the weekend here. Remember, if we um, really overbuy on a day like a Friday like this with this big energy ahead of uh, that PPI number, we could get trapped into um, another overnight reversal when we go through the weekend. So be careful. Make sure you're planning your trades carefully. Don't overtrade a market like this. We are very extended in um, the SPY and QQQ. And at any time, we could find that 
problem point that sends us lower. So just watch that close. Stay long the market and just don't overtrade. Everyone have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. We'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Take care, everyone.